I am turning 21 and I don't really know how to feel about it. It's so weird getting older because my birthday just doesn't feel that exciting. And I've always been excited for my birthdays up until last year when I turned 20. And for some reason that just wasn't exciting for me. Like it's kind of exciting, but at the same time, it's not the same as when I was younger. I don't feel like I'm turning into like a new person leading up to my birthday, if that makes sense. I mean, I'll be able to drink, so that will be fun. But other than that, there's nothing too exciting about it. I'm just wondering, is this the last birthday that's actually going to matter? I know that sounds like horrible to say, but everyone counts down until their 21st birthday, at least like in America. But then after that, nothing new comes with age. You don't get any new privileges after you get to 21. And don't get me wrong, I have a ton of stuff I'm looking forward to, but none of it really involves my birthday. When I was younger, it always did. I couldn't wait till I was a teenager when I was 13. I couldn't wait till I was 16 and I could start driving and I could get my job. And I couldn't wait until I was 18 because then I'd be a legal adult. I don't know, it all feels different now. And maybe that's just part of growing up. So I turned 21 in three days. Today is Wednesday and I turned 21 on Saturday. Every year around my birthday, I'll feel like I need to make a big life change or I need to take action or just change my life in small ways. Like I am ready to like run, if that makes sense. I'm ready to make decisions. I'm ready to change my life in every possible way. It started when I was about 12 years old. I cut my hair for the first time. I cut it short. And ever since then, around my birthday every year, I always felt the need to cut my hair off again and to color it or get highlights. So that's been something I've been doing almost every year since I was 12 years old. My birthday has always marked a time of new. Like it's a new me. It was never the new year for me. It was never new year, new me. It was new birthday, new me, if that makes sense. I always felt a need to really change my life. And for the most part, I think I'm good with most big life decisions I have going on right now. I don't feel a need to change any of that. But there are some things I want to do and some things I want to change before I turn 21. So here I have a growing list of everything I want to do or change. And this is mostly just fun stuff, stuff that doesn't hold a lot of weight to it because like I said, I'm okay with all of the big life decisions I have going on right now. But here's some of the things I want to do before I turn 21. To keep the tradition alive, I want to cut and color my hair but this would be the first time I'd be cutting and coloring my hair on my own. So we'll see how that goes. I also want to get any free food or drinks. I also want to watch the sunrise and the sunset. And another thing I want to do, if the weather is right, is I want to watch the super moon and I want to stargaze because there's gonna be a meteor shower. And I have a feeling I'll be adding to this list too. Like I have photo shoot wrote down. I don't know if that's even going to happen because I only have three days left. Good morning, it's Thursday. August 11th. Dear Diary, today I woke up early just to watch the sunrise. It was honestly kind of disappointing because there were a ton of houses in the way. But it was still pretty and it was relaxing to be still. Anyway, that was one of the things I wanted to do before I turned 21. Okay, so today is the day I'm going to cut and dye my own hair. We'll see how this goes. I actually went to Walmart last night to get all the colors I needed, but I accidentally didn't get a highlighting kit. I got this instead. So I'm running back to Walmart, gonna return that and get a highlighting kit. It's crazy that I'm turning 21 in two days. I remember being a little kid wondering what I would be like at 21. Would I be living in a dorm at college? Maybe I would experience my first party when I was 21. Or maybe I've been partying for a while already. Do I like alcohol? I would also imagine what I look like too. Would I have crazy hair? Maybe I've grown up to be really tall. Probably not though. Was I pretty? Did I get a tattoo? If I did, do I need to hide it from my parents? Or are they cool with it? I hope I'm dating someone. And I hope I have a huge group of friends. 
I don't think younger me would be disappointed in who I am now. Actually, I would think I'm pretty cool, but I'm not how I'd imagined I'd be. Okay, so now that I'm waiting for the hair dye to set in, this would be a good time to update you. It took me like three hours to cut my hair. I chopped it off, did some layers, and did curtain bangs. I didn't film too, too much of it because I was so focused and I was watching tutorials on YouTube of how to like do my curtain bangs. So right now I'm dyeing my hair brown and it'll look more like my original color. There's something so nice about going into like a new phase of your life, looking a little bit different. <laughs> Today I also cut and highlighted my hair, which was something else on my list. Honestly, I thought I was going to mess this up a lot. And I think I messed it up in a few places, but I like it. It was fun to do by myself, even though it did take me like six hours. So I have no idea how to like style my bangs. Like this side looks better and I tried to do the same thing over here and it's just not saying, but this is the hair kind of curled and kind of done. I don't, I've just been doing like a half up because I think that looks a little bit better. This will probably be my go-to style until I can figure out how to actually make it look good. So I thought since tomorrow is my birthday that it would be nice to wake up to just like a clean bedroom because my room has been stressing me out and I haven't cleaned it in about a week, which honestly doesn't sound like too long, but when you're me, a week is a long time. So I don't want to spend too much time cleaning my room, but I want to get it at least a little bit, uh, not so messy. August 12th. Dear Diary, it's my birthday eve. I usually have my annual day before my birthday cry, but I got that out of my system the other week. I started crying at midnight listening to Nothing New by Taylor Swift and Phoebe Bridgers. I think it was the lyric that went, how can a person know everything at 18 but nothing at 22? That got me. Anyway, no tears were shed today. Connor came over after work and we drove around at sunset and went to Kroger. I bought a lemon cake loaf thing. We bought these last year. Maybe it can be a little cheesy tradition. I wanted to stay up and stargaze, but I am so tired. Maybe I'm old now. So yeah, I guess I'm 21 now. So originally this video was just going to be the days leading up to me turning 21, but like, honestly, I didn't do too much. So I actually have some plans today. I have like a $35 at Plato's Closet for my birthday. I'm gonna run over there and grab that. But yeah, and then I have a lot of free coffee. So I might get a coffee today, but I'm not happy about that. August 13th, Dear Diary, I'm 21. And no, I don't feel any older. This morning I went to Plato's Closet because I had a free $5. I have been looking for a red purse for a long time. So this was $8, so I only paid three and it has a long crossbody strap on it, which I love. I've been obsessed with the Rockstar Girlfriend aesthetic and I found a really cute purse that would fit the look perfectly. I threw a small party at the lake and I had to set up for that. My grandma bought the decorations and she went a little overboard. It was cute though. The colors were purple and white and the party was nice. Just some family and friends were there, so it was pretty chill. Happy birthday, Livia. Okay, you ready? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay it has been a while since i turned on the camera last um last thing i think you saw was me setting up for my birthday party 
that was a ton of fun. It was just a really small get together. My dad made some margaritas for everyone who was 21 and older. I haven't been out to a bar yet, unfortunately. I did go out to a restaurant the day after though and I got this really amazing cocktail. I don't remember what was in it, but it was tequila and lavender. I think there might've been lemon and like something else in there. It was really good though. Um, it didn't taste like alcohol, so I liked it. So every year on my birthday, you know, everyone's always like, oh, do you feel different and all that? And the thing is, I actually feel a little bit different now. Not really the day of, but like this week. I don't know, I felt a little bit different. It's just knowing that I'm 21, almost like I can take myself a little bit more more seriously there wasn't like any difference in my maturity from 20 to 21 but like just how people perceive me like i feel much more i don't know confident in myself i i don't know if i'm making any sense it's like okay if i wanted to go wear something a crazy outfit to town right now i'd feel okay doing it Th this is kind of what it sums up to i do feel different because i know i'm a little bit older Okay, but another thing I was going to tell you is that a few days after I turned 21, I had my second therapist appointment. We were kind of talking about control and responsibility. If you can't tell, I'm extremely type A. I am the responsible one. I've always been like the responsible child in the family. I've always kind of like taken care of everything that I could. I can hear Blossom purring on top of my car. Yeah, we were talking about like responsibility, control, my role as a child and kind of how that like, you know, affects me now as an adult, a young adult. And she was, she was like, you know, maybe try to not be so responsible. <laughs> when she said that, I just kind of thought this is my thing for being 21. It's maybe don't be so responsible, not go crazy, not fail all your classes, not any of that. You know, do what you should do. But other than that, let go of some of that control and responsibility. So that's what I feel like my year of being 21 is going to be. <laughs> but anyway, today I'm going to do that just a little bit. I finished up all of my assignments finally for this week of the class I'm in. It was absolutely insane. I was just sitting on my computer for like eight hours at a time, grinding, trying to get this stupid Photoshop to work but it's done. I think it's almost one o'clock. I decided I'm going to go thrifting and see if I can find any clothes for fall. Yeah, that is what I'm doing right now. August 19th. Dear Diary, I went thrifting today. I didn't have very good luck though. I think if I was thrifting anywhere besides a small town in the Midwest, I would have found something. All right, so I'm back home. I ended up going to like three different thrift stores and I only got one thing. I got something from Salvation Army. I just got this new like sheet set for my bed, but they were charging $20 for this, which is kind of insane. I mean, it's new, so I get it, but like, at the same time. August 20th. Dear Diary. So I never completed that list of stuff I wanted to do before I turned 21. But I still want to check some stuff off. Today I did a photo shoot. This might be one of the best ideas I've had with the absolute worst execution ever. Uh, yes, I do have a butter knife. So today I picked up one of these little bunt cakes for my birthday because it was free. And I decided that I want to do like a little birthday photo shoot with it. And I could do like something like blowing out the candles, but I thought since I'm 21, I can legally buy 
cigarettes now but I don't smoke so I didn't go out and buy a pack I just printed off like a little foldable template and made it myself like a little package and I'm going to put candles in it so I have my little cake a plate a knife and uh this is why it might be the worst execution ever. For a table, I literally have my laundry hamper and a wrinkly sheet. The theme was celebration and cigarettes. Okay, I'm realizing you can see the wires through it. If I stand here, hopefully that'll cover it up a little bit. Mosquitoes are already starting to get me. So let's put a little pink candle right there. Like I'm not gonna light it because the wind's blowing too hard. I almost got burnt a few times, but like. Can you tell I've never smoked before? I felt so awkward during the shoot and it was too windy to light any candles. I'm just gonna photoshop a flame in later, but I think I got some good photos. Yesterday I got another freebie, the mini fun cake. It was so good. I ate most of it after the photo shoot. Well, I am getting eaten alive out here by mosquitoes. So I think that means it is my sign to go inside. So today I'm finally gonna go get my driver's license renewed. My last license was so ugly, like not ugly. I just don't like how I looked in it. I was 17, but this time, because the photo's gonna be in black and white and stuff, I want to make sure I look and look nice, you know? So on TikTok, I've been seeing a lot of people saying, oh, here's like the passport, the driver's license trend. And they always look like so good in it. I'm not like super photogenic, so I think having good makeup might help my face look better, I guess. So yeah, I'm gonna try to look like super duper glam. We'll see how this goes. I actually haven't done like glam makeup in a year, maybe two years, so. See how this goes. So I just got my license. I'll have to show you in a second. But right now I'm in a big B drive thru to get my free drink. Thank you for keeping Vicky. What can I get for you? Hi, can I have a 24 ounce iced um, pumpkin spice? Come with it. Thank you. I do not photograph well. I thought maybe, you know, because I spent time on my makeup, I'm not 16, maybe I'd look okay, but <laughs> my hair is naturally a mess, which I think usually looks fine, you know, it's a little messy, a little tassel, tasseled, tousled, whatever, you know, I'm like, oh, cute, you know, um, does not look good in this picture, though. September 9th. Dear Diary, I have no excuse waiting this long to go renew my license. Is this what I look like? Well, you know what? Here's my picture for my 21st birthday license. Oh. I was hoping to procrastinate a little less when I turned 21. I think my photo turned out terrible and now I'm stuck with it for a long time. But at least I did it. Now I can check that off that list from like a month ago. I did a few other things in the past month too. I went to my first bar and bought my first drinks. So I bought my first few alcoholic drinks. I got a Lakes like hard cider, but it's caramel apple. So I have no idea how that's gonna taste. I mostly got this for the can. It's a really cute like Oktoberfest. I think I like ciders, gin, cherry schnapps, and tequila. Not vodka. Vodka is so disgusting. I've been 21 for almost a month now. I definitely feel different. Not necessarily older, but different. I think I tried to describe it in a video, but it just came out like a jumbled mess. But I think this is the start of a new chapter. I know this sounds like so cleasy and cliche, but I can feel it. I want to take risks. I'm trying new things, making new friends. 
So the other day I made last minute plans to meet up with this girl from Bumble to grab a quick coffee this morning. And I'm waiting in the parking lot and like I'm kind of nervous because we haven't been talking for very long. I don't know if this year will be a productive one, but I have a feeling it will be fun. So welcome to the next chapter. Maybe I'll title it something like less responsible. I don't know, something along those lines. Cheers to a new era, I guess. This is me at 21.